Our top story this morning. Former Bishop Howard Hubbard has died after complications from a stroke. He was 84 years old. Hubbard was born in Troy. He became a priest at age 25 and then the youngest bishop in the entire country at 38. Throughout his service, Hubbard was seen as a more liberal leader in the Roman Catholic Diocese of Albany, known for his advocacy surrounding peace and social justice. Despite all the problems and difficulties and challenges we face in today's society and world, we are still beloved by God. However, in recent years, Bishop Hubbard had become a source of scandal in the Catholic community. In 2021, Hubbard admitted to concealing allegations of child sexual abuse in the diocese dating back to 1977. In a deposition, he said he chose to shuffle alleged abusers to different parishes and seal records tied to those accusations. He made the decisions to protect one offender after another. Hubbard himself was also accused of abusing children, which he continually denied. The allegations barred him from community work as a priest, even after he retired last year. Back in March, you'll remember the Albany Roman Catholic Diocese filed for bankruptcy. The church said that was done to be able to settle abuse claims. The filing means no more cases can be filed against the diocese right now. The church responding to the news of Hubbard's death, Bishop Edward Scharfenberger writing, quote, the life of a priest is never about himself, but for those whom he serves. We, re we commend our brother Howard Hubbard to the God of all mercy. He went on to add, quote, We also pray for those who were in any way hurt or wounded by any priest they may have encountered. News 10 still working to learn more about Hubbard's funeral arrangements. We do know his services are being handled by the McVeigh Funeral Home in Albany. Stay with us on air and online as we continue to follow the latest developments in this story.